اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاءه فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جل الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منير أما بعد أحب في الله there's so many people who are inflicted with calamities so much around the world and when you look in a different eye meaning in, you do your own investigation and you look you'll find there is someone behind it someone is behind it and who's that the human devil and the jinn devil behind all this evil thing because of their evil cult they are in so all what they want is to to pull son of adam in one way to make him suffer so he loses hope the devil jinn has caused so much harm to the son of adam there is absolutely no doubt there's so many people who are suffering around the world with so much calamities different different type of turbulence some strong who can handle it some weak some can cope some cannot cope with the infliction some get signs from allah rabbul izza that there is a rescue and there is a place where their issue is on some they get sign that they cannot solve it whatever is there is very far reach for them but some is right next door to them they can't and oh they don't know how to solve it there's no doubt that we all know the devil human and the devil jinn are so weak and so wicked in their pursuit of son of adam muslims there's no doubt there's strong jinns from their kind and there is weak jinns from their kind there's no doubt there's a strong devil from humans and there's weak devil from human beings there is absolutely no doubt that there is strong jinn from the other side strong devil and weak devil and there's low devil and the high devil just like human being and some of them are wicked and determined in their wickedness the jinn devil and these are the ones where the human devil goes and seek help to the wicked ones the ones who are experienced with their wickedness they go and seek help from these wicked jinns in their dwellings their dwellings like the caves the trees the mountains etc they go and seek help from them the toilet the graves the rivers the lake and in all these places some of them have got the most wicked shaitan in it and one of the most wickedest shaitan is the one who has been mentioned in the hadith who lives just around us next door to us this is the most wickedest jinn and is the low the low jinn this is khubuth wal khabaith the evil devil man and woman who dwells in the toilet and this devil the magician human being the devil human being goes and seeks help from these devils and these are from the lowest from the asfal from the lowest of the lowest who are wicked who do, who their dwellings are dirty dwellings which we consider human beings and muslims consider dirty these their dwellings and the devil goes and seeks help goes in these places and chant and do whatever he wants and seeks help from them and the human devil go and seeks help from the human devil and the human devil goes and seeks from the jinn devil in their in his dwellings and then they plan and plot and execute their plan they get cloth whatever they get and execute their plan they use three types of najasa but two guarantee they find it urine and the number two and the three najasa is menses this one there is no guarantee but the number one and number two they find it and they use it 
Now, when they use it, it has so much effect and so much wickedness. And wicked devils come there. Today, my subject is the black magic in the toilet. As-sihru fil hamam. This black magic, when they go, the devil, human being, goes and asks and chants and does what he wants. He gets a khadim. He gets someone who represents his magic. And he gets the jinni, who is the khubth wal khabaith, from the, among them, and goes, walks from, walks for him. But in fact, he's a slave of this devil. He walks for him, and he goes and does the job. They find a target, and they execute the target. If it's to do with the whole house, they execute. By the will of Allah, it hits, and it happens. When the magician does his magic and he sends the jinns and the jinns goes there, they leave a trail. This trail, some becomes very, very dangerous trail. Some destroys the, the individual or the family completely. Some, they can cope. Some cannot cope. I ask Allah to give me the ability and expose this kuffars from the jinns and the human being more with their cult of the magic. And I ask Allah to give me the ability to help the Ummatul Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with this exposing like this today, the black magic of the toilet. Sihru fil hamam. This magic, when it hits, it changes the atmosphere, the atmosphere of the house, the atmosphere of the work, the atmosphere of car, if it was targeted, the car, if it was targeted, the business. It totally changed the atmosphere to a very difficult atmosphere. And whoever comes there, I repeat, is from the Khubuthi wal Khabai, from the Lewis of the Lewis, who are wicked jinns who come there and they do their job. The symptoms are normally generally three night and day and hibada. What will happen is when these jinns come there, they will try very, very hard and effectively to stop the individual from the tracks. Of the ibadah towards Allah Rabbul Izzah, Salah, Quran, Sadaqa, they will try and stop it because it's very dangerous for them because these jinni are from the lower jinn. It's very, I repeat, very dangerous for them because their life it will be in danger. So they destroy that and establish a platform where they work smoothly. Once that has been destroyed, huh, we ask Allah to protect us. There is nothing left there. The individual will have these symptoms, sadness and depression, overwhelming. This magic, if it was meant to destroy the house or the family member, the first symptoms of that, ha of that will be the atmosphere of our house will absolutely change completely from loving family to hatred. Uh, you will hear the members of the family say, mm, you smell, mm, you smell. Oh, there is a, there, I'm feeling the urine smell. Weird smell in the house. And then the sense of sadness and depression started to creep in in the house. Dreaming of being in the toilet, playing with the pools, urine, dreaming of these sort of dreams indicates two things or three things. Indicates three things. Number one, either the magic was done in the toilet, is in the toilet. Number two, the jinn is from the toilet. Number three, the magic is done on this filthy stuff the urine and whatever. That's why the individual goes these dreams. So it is to do with three, not more than three. I repeat, either the magic in the toilet, the genie from the toilet, or it's been done on these, these substances.
which comes out from a human being. Seeing someone in the toilet frequently, when the person goes in the toilet, he sees there's someone there. Dreaming of the toilet frequently, dreaming of eating in the toilet, feeling of dirt, urine or smelling of it, and having a desire to vomit, but the individual cannot vomit. Looks dirty, looks smelly. And wonders what is going on. When he passes around people, the people, ooh, they start smelling of urine and the number two. And when the individual goes in the toilet, he starts seeing stains in the toilet and he doesn't know where these stains came from. Stains of crazy stains. And his physical appearance starts to deteriorate. Too much gas comes out from him. Pest, chest pain, shoulder pain, legs pain. When entering the toilet, the individual feels fear or feels heart pul pulpitation or too much sweat, too much anxiety, hearing voices while he's in the toilet, hearing someone breathing in the toilet, feeling headache while in the toilet. Sometimes the individual feels very shocked entering the toilet. Like, where have I entered? The person will be going frequently in and out of the toilet, loving it. When he goes, some, sometimes some will go there and love that place, to just wants to be in that place. This is when they've done magic in the toilet or the genie is from the toilet. These are the symptoms of this magic. And it's more what I will pose there and give you the treatment. The treatment, one, needs to establish the connection between him and Allah and in isti'ana towards Allah. This is the foundation of defeating this type of magic. And then, Salah five times, Surah Baqarah needs to be read full. One time, two times, three times, four times, and the individual needs to have salt and rose water mix it and sprinkle the toilet frequently not to read on it and also have the bukhur luban smoke i will leave a link down there smoke the toilet frequently inshallah and you will overcome this make sure you apply olive oil on your body make sure your house smells nice because these jinns are from the toilet. They don't like nice smell. So make sure you're always clean as well. And if you're feeling the vomit sensation, make sure you go and try and vomit. By Allah Rabbul Is This is the video about black magic in the toilet. Sihr of Al-Hamam. أبو يحيى from the Rukh Talk وآخر دعوانا وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق